Daniel chapter 6, lifestyle of prayer. Yeah. From verse 1. Empire, but Abra, but yeah, Daniel, it is here. And he pleased Darius to set over the kingdom and 120 princes which should be over the whole kingdom. Now, a Darius, and he saw, said, Obafa, a year, and him for a mark. And over these, over these three presidents, of whom Daniel was first, that the princes might give account unto them, and the king should have no damage. Now, yes, sir, in the Paymuno, or Mummy and Sir, no more penny for no, and not Daniel Edicano, and I now I was there. And this Daniel was preferred above the presidents and princes because an excellent spirit was in him, and the king thought to set him over all, over the whole realm. And Daniel then the presidents and princes sought to find occasion against Daniel concerning the kingdom, but they could find none occasion or fault. For as much as he was faithful, neither was there any error or fault found in him. Now, then said these men, we shall not find any occasion against this Daniel, except we find it against him concerning the law of his God. Then these presidents and princes assembled together to the king and said that's unto, that's, and said that's unto the king Darius, live forever. And all the presidents of the kingdom, the governors, the princes, the counselors, and the captains have consulted together to establish a royal statute and to make a firm decree that whosoever shall ask a petition of any god or man for 30 days, save of thee, O king, he shall be cast into the den of lions. Now, King established the decree and signed the writing that it be not changed according to the law of the Medes and Persians, which uttereth not. Wherefore, King Darius signed the writing and the decree. And signed the now, when Daniel knew that the writing was signed, he went into his house, and his windows being open in his chamber towards Jerusalem. He kneeled upon his knees three times a day and prayed and gave thanks before his God as he did a four time. When you read these things, I just want you to see the linkage between Daniel's prayer lifestyle and addiction to prayer to his excellent spirit, why he excelled above all the rest, even as a young boy. Daniel 
Daniel literally lived in the presence of God. And that is how God created us to be. Sometimes you find Christians, they can spend time watching soccer for hours, doing so many things for hours, plating their hair for hours. When it comes to prayer, after 30 minutes, they are tired. Something, you are not normal. Something is wrong. You were created in God's image and likeness for a reason. And I want you to understand that in the relationship we have with God, there, there is a God-shaped vacuum that only God can fill. There is a God-shaped hunger and inadequacy that only God can fill. Nothing else. People try to fill it with all kinds of things, that vacuum they find in their heart, with all kinds of things, and yet they find no solution. You see, when you watch television, you realize every time they talk about Donald Trump, you know why they talk about him? He loves the limelight. He wants to be talked about every time. That is what, how he's trying to fill the vacuum in his life. I wish somebody would call him and say that this, all this publicity, it won't fill you. You need Christ and more and more and more of him. Then you can find contentment and rest for your soul. But he doesn't know this. This simple truth he doesn't know. Now, as some of the cronies say, a year of here in television, so a year American president that watch on Donald Trump, the beer I said, or you be be sent your bear, your back and one some. Now, or yes, I send your bear, near a yes, I'll go where then you come in the Akuma Mui, now all pair, so of a crumb is many penny in our unu, now on that or minino, but to me, I had that I'm not dead. Now, as a sort of tear says, there be a yes, I'm your man, and as I said, oh, yeah, I bet me a man and yasa, a year or minino. Sometimes you find even Christians on social media, they always want to do something so that every time they trend, something is basically wrong. There is a shift. There is an error they are moving in, and yet they don't know. Now, this God-shaped vacuum cannot be filled with any other thing. Now, when you discover this early in your life, then you draw near unto God all the days of your life. As you draw near unto him, he also draws near unto you. He is looking for intimacy with you. Are you listening to me? me. And I want you to understand something. Daniel had developed this lifestyle. That was his life, living in his presence. So whether you make a decree or not to end his life, he has no other life apart from God. Are you listening to us? Mm-hmm. Apart from dwelling in the presence of God all the days of his life. That was what defined Daniel. So people were seeing the result of it in terms of an excellent spirit. You could commit everything to him, he would accept because he was living accurately. If you live in God's presence, you will live accurately. Amen. 
Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So you know the result of it. They put him in a lion's den, right? Because for breaking the law. The king tried everything possible from his point to try to save him, but the law cannot be altered. And somehow the king was wishing, the whole night he couldn't sleep when they put him in the down there, waiting to hear news that Daniel was alive. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bible say an adunin yano or hino no anna anna or pese a diabeti set Daniel at him come. I believe this is what happened. So for so did he say, bro, go down, wait and see ye. For a man who lives in God's presence, you can't kill him until he's he's finished his work. Amen. Now on the part or see on your coupon sit down in Dan Yano, and that dear obey me a kum sa on the pan, a cosy said that. Because this is the whole idea. When you draw close to God, God shares his heart with you. He develops such intimacy with you. Are you listening to me? He expresses himself through you. He lives his life through you. So are you listening to me? When this happens for a very long time, you literally carry a presence with you, his presence with you wherever you go. So in the lion's name, Daniel was still connected to God and they were fellowshipping together, even in the den. Now look at a hungry lion created by God wanting to chew his God. The presence of his God has literally an animal, the flesh of Daniel, taking over. So, you know, the lion, not, not all meat is meat. This meat is hallowed meat. You can't touch it. Hallelujah. He draws close and he can smell his creator. <laughs> then he'll get back. No, 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 you can't chew this one. <laughs> that is no joke, eh? It's a serious matter. Now, talking about this lifestyle, I want us to turn to Mark chapter 1, verse 35. Mark chapter 1, verse 35. Mark chapter 1, verse 35. Talking about Jesus. Yeah, Jesus and in the morning, now, rising up a great while before day, sorry and sana and he went out and departed into a solitary place. And there prayed. This is how I spent my youthful life when I found this scripture. 
So for say, say na ye ni mranti bre munu, adi na bra bo e ye ye bra unya ti asi e wo sasi munu. Salvation Park. Man probi Salvation Park. Or Risco Park. Risco. And many parks you can imagine. So for say any baby. When I go anywhere, I look for a park where that will be very convenient. You see, when I lay on my bed, by. 3.30 thereabout, I start getting ready. So, right? So, so that, a boy, and a part, no, me and sir, a boy, no, me and sir, a boy, a permua. No, I'm sorry. No, I'm just saying, I get onto the park. I don't care whether anybody can shoot me or knife me or rob me. You understand? There is a kind of confidence you develop in your work with God that you don't fear what man can do to you. Am I making sense here? Uh -huh. nah, so I'm not sure Daniel was afraid of the lions. I don't you see a cobasa or sorry sign of a himanu, no quack or bomb pyre. On Slosa will be better to be best city so, and now Betrissi can be a one so. Now Elmo or Yaka would so be one in Yaku Bomb. Now or Jiddy said, Sarah and another Daniel, so now why you're not a Buanumpo or Sono. And he prayed. A great while before day, he went out and departed into a soul and there prayed. And this is Jesus who is God, who became man to teach us how to live in relation to God here on this earth. This is what his practice brought was. Hallelujah. Wait any years to Christ now you know coupon prakupe. Hallelujah. Amen. And Simon and they that were with him followed after him. Now I and when they have found him, they said unto him, All men seek for thee. All men seek for thee. Can I tell you something? If you, if you have this lifestyle, you draw men unto you. Sir, you have a magnetic life that draws people onto you. People find their solution in you, so they are drawn to you. You see, if you are the workplace, whatever, you don't call them, they come to you. All men seek for thee. When they speak to you, they can tell you are different. There is something about you. That you say, I'm are you listening to me? So, as a young man, I finished this prayer assignment before I go bath and go to work. Are you listening to me? Yeah. So that in the church that I used to sit as a congregation member. I could do sir and put a sorry and I'm a woman now me to was a obibiara. They started inviting me and adding me to their guest preachers to preach from their pulpit. Now almost I said to I hadn't told them anything about me. I'm going to start from me sir. Oh, 
Are you listening to me? Utie me. They say when you speak, something happens to our hearts. Our hearts burn within at us. Hello. After so many years, I didn't know what was happening. After so many years, hmm, I met someone who sat in the congregation that time. He said, my auntie used to love you so much. Each time you stood behind the pulpit, it kept many known a solo. No ko solo, you understand? She was just trying to describe what was happening to her when she listens. And it was it was a normal trend, and I didn't know. For me, it was very ordinary. It was normal. So if we say na aye and fiebre a chino. Oshia Ababa Wabia na onu subra na o can some wa sorry the amu ono na o hobby na na o catch and say ni anti so aye embri biara o soft for betina o say o kasano na aye se bibi aye aye no na when the onu the no one say aye bibi aye bibi trebi keke. You know one time I was home and a certain young man came all the way to come and look for me. I hadn't seen him for about forty years. So we said that be na o ofie. He said, you made an impression upon me. I have sat in church. I have followed so many. But you see, there is something you deposited. That from the classroom, when you speak, some fire starts on the inside of me. It stayed with me all these years. Today, I live in America. I've been trying to follow you and try to do everything, but now I want to come and meet you face to face. So as soon as he started talking, he came to kneel down and raise up his hands. He lives in Massachusetts. Raise up his hands. Can you pray for me? And he was a member of that fellowship and he used to come very consistently and that has shaping his destiny up to today. So that's what he came to tell me, the fire that was released at the time. The whole secret I can tell you is a prayer lifestyle. You can penetrate the secular world, penetrate every realm where there are men and prevail with this kind of lifestyle. Hallelujah. Amen. All men seek thee for thee. Anointing your Christ all men seek for thee. And he said unto them, Let us go into the next towns. That I may preach there also. For therefore came I forth. This is the whole idea. There was work to be done amongst men. Every work to be done amongst men must first be inserted into prayer. Prayer must birth the ability to do that work. Are you listening to what I'm talking about? Amen. Amen. You must stay in his presence. Spend time with him. If you do that Mm -hmm. Any work you do amongst men created by God, who have a spirit and a soul and a body, you will penetrate them in Jesus' name. Amen. Anuntin yo sofu e kan ni se. Juma die biara, o nyame ase se se wo be ye e wo nipa emu no, ana nipa ntem no. Se wo se se juma die na se, bra wo di mpaibo e se bitiase a. E ne wo betumi abowuram wo bibi biara wo ye mu. Hallelujah. Amen.
Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, when you study history, I don't know whether you learned about Dr. Kweji Agri. You heard the heard name before? Sir, okay. From Anumabo. Sir, who can say about what some are? Minimum say Ebia, Dr. Agri. I hear there is a book. I haven't laid hands on the book here, but somebody tell me his father had a book and gave to him. The book, title of the book is Agri of Africa. Somebody wrote that book about him. And he became the vice principal of Achimota School. Vice principal. Vice principal. There was a white principal and he was the vice principal. When they sat in meetings and decisions were being made, when Agri, Agri wouldn't be, even be in a hurry to speak. The white people would speak, they would say, you humble man, will you, will you chip in something? When Agri begins to speak and he concludes his speech, there is nothing you can add or subtract. It becomes the concluding story. They all end up on what Agri has said. That's what how anointed the man was. Na 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 near AC wo a yeah at Timota School no na agri or no your vice principal. Ah no bro nifita na na your principal. Na a kopase bribiara omubesia na ayesa omu pese omu tu ejina esi po ewa and sembi mwa. E yam bro fui beka womu sem na na nwa chino na afroma to sa friend say won so uo bribia obeka no waka. Na esa and wusla ne was saw or berry may soon tino. He was a lay preacher in the AME Zion Church. And he has developed a secret. Developed a secret. If you have a great great grandfather who walk in that realm, hmm? This thing is passed through the family, many generations to come. You see, there is a secret intimacy which when you develop with God, is transferable to the generations after you. And to as many as sit under you, as many as listen to you. It is so infectious. It fastens to the spirits of men. And any time your name is mentioned, they remember how they felt, the presence of God that they felt when you open your mouth to speak. And it stays with them for life. Notice that Upon modern at the sa and some anabra boy, a young papa bra boy, I would know young coupon at Tina Danita with the Sabra boy at Nantia. I feel I acquiesce a yen, a wee yano, a free I want to atrasu, a co I want to atrasu, a quiesce a woman, a woman, a free so ample a co, a yen I want to atrasu, ah, do it. Beloved, and you know. The influence we can have in a lifetime when we develop a prayer lifestyle, only heaven can evaluate that influence. Hallelujah. And I, I, I wish that you will catch this secret and make it a lifestyle. I've tried it. And I'm sharing my experience with you. Hallelujah. Na wuni no anyan kita mudi papa. Ani aye nsu 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 wa bra bo benya wo afufro nsu no e ya die bia osuru kuto e le betumi di e bo ato sa ade ne so. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hebrews chapter 5 verse 7 please. Hebrews fu mo ma eti enum na ye hwe ntichemu enson no. He's talking about Jesus here. Who in the days of his flesh, when he had offered up prayers and supplications, with strong cryings and tears, unto him that was able to save him from death, 
And he was heard in that he feared. Now listen. It says, who in the days of his flesh? So when Jesus was in the flesh, he offered up prayers and supplications with strong cryings and tears. Uh, how, no. how many of you are more intelligent than Jesus? Are more imaginative than Jesus? Are more creative than Jesus? He didn't depend on this ability. He knew that in this flesh, you are weak. You are weak. So if you don't learn to lean on God in prayer, that is where your failure begins and your weakness becomes manifest. Hallelujah. Now, as in Bissani said, Hallelujah. <laughs> Hello. Is it the small degrees we go for in the university that makes us so proud? We think we know. We don't know anything. The earlier you find out how weak you are without God, the better it will be for you. Hallelujah. 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 Who in the days of his flesh? Jesus, describing Jesus. When he had offered up prayers and supplication with strong cries and tears unto him that was able to save him from death. And he was heard in that he feared. Hallelujah. Amen. Can we look at Matthew chapter 26 from verse 36 going? Matthew chapter 26. This was before he went to the cross. And what we read describes this. The scripture we read before this describes this. So then came Jesus with them unto a place called Gethsemane. I don't know how many of you have gotten to Gethsemane in your life. You know, sometimes because we think we are Christians, everything should be smooth. You read Daniel's life and how people plotted against him. These are Gethsemane's in life. How did Jesus handle those Gethsemane's in his life? The Gethsemane situations in his life. You were a Christian and you're going through some very difficult situations. There is a way to handle it. We are Christian, and we are going to be a Christian. And everybody who calls himself a Christian must learn this. Now, Don't be let everybody feel sorry for you. No. No. Don't let anybody feel sorry for you. 
Nema obia eh 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 tibia I learned how to pray from my mother. She found herself in a very critical situation. She learned it from her father. The father was a, a man who prayed because of the things he went through. That was my grandfather. I met him when the last thing I remember of him was when I was in a university. And I paid him a visit in Fanti New Town in Kumase. That's where he lived. When you visit him and he just mentioned your name, he was blind at the time. Ooh, I was his first grandchild, so he was very fond of me. Oh, Then he begins. Who will talk and talk, then he will shift to the God. So put your trust in God. Then he will talk and talk and advise and when he finishes, he prays for you. There is something I noticed about him. When he spoke, the words were not ordinary words. The words carried a dimension with it. You just could tell. So my mom grew up in that kind of environment. So when we face a crisis of nine children, father had died at 46 years. And so we gather early in the morning and we pray. We kneel down. She will insist you kneel down. And then we prayed. And every morning. So we said, Bra, me, mommy, so. The miracles that came out of that prayer, I can't serialize them. Now listen, beloved. I once walked to Coco Marketing Board to see a friend uh, who was uh, conduct, going to conduct business there, right? I used to work in the industrial area. So the Coco Marketing Board, that was an industrial area. I followed my friend there. When I got there, I didn't know a woman who lived in a neighborhood who was quite close to my mom. Hmm? As soon as I got there and she saw me, hey, if you need. Then she goes to every office. And guess what she tells them? The whole office came to come and see me. Can you imagine that? I don't know what she was telling them. Now, I a chamuna or yeah, a juma or dosa area. I don't know the Nadal for be a tea called Coco Marketing Board. Now, a ho, and now, of course, yeah, mammy, yeah, that's our mammy, only money, mammy. Now, what can the who are some so actually a yet, my wolf for you now, and the brow who in the pet, and what catch my wolf for you now, say, hey, woman, I'm a head, mammy, no, my can and what's a match on the bar, a year fifty only. This woman had been observing my mother. It had such a, such a deep impression on her. She hadn't seen anybody like that before. Now, 
So my mom's story was a story sharing with everybody in the office. So when I came, I was a living proof of what she had been telling them for a very long time. So everybody came out of the office to come and see me. I became a specimen. Hallelujah. I don't think a year and some ana a year to be a ana brabobia or sofu mami a co mununtino. Not in some no aqua yep, be a yes up a me a can or do more antino bra or sofu a piano. Now I was out of any chairman or be a who near what can be a to me a free move. I the gentleman I went with to that office had finished national service looking for permanent employment. There was no chance, there was no chance he could get permanent employment. But because of that testimony, uh, the one who was supposed to grant him permanent employment was also one of the spectators. And they got to know that that guy came with me. So on that basis, they made him a permanent staff. Hallelujah. Can you imagine that? Hallelujah. Now, I better my uncle say, go back or pay a juma and then I will hold. Now, Sabre no, nay, a mribia, then not dia, or bet me a juma. Now, a sunset on any coy, not a fee, or moving now, Puba, no tino, now near other man, a juma, so I can move when I bet you any billion tino, not as a only Bibia say, Ampara, Reginatum, no man, a juma, preoccupy. Wait, and no, Uncle Pong, or to me. So then come and Jesus with them unto a place called Gethsemane. And I yes, Christ, so anyone about Babia, your friend with Gethsemane. And said unto the disciples, I know, catch it on, say, Sit ye here while I go and pray yonder. I used to wonder, Jesus, why didn't you take them with me, them to go and pray with you? His disciples, where you woman. Hello, sit here while I go and pray. I want you to understand that there are levels in prayer. When it comes to serious prayer, pa, you need people who understand serious prayer to come accompany you into that realm. Do you understand what I'm talking? Not everybody. I notice a bar and pie bar, a yet a liberal pie bar, and then now we hear a nipper, almost so I was our home, a liberal pie bar home, and now over to me and walk or do something, pencil, a bompire. Sit ye here while I go and pray yonder. But then after the disciples, he chose some of them to go with him. He took with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee. And began to be sorrowful and very heavy. Then he said unto them, My soul is exceedingly sorrowful. Even unto death. It's like death has literally taken hold of him. I see the cross, the time of the cross approached. Tarry ye here and watch with me. Yes. And he went a little further. So I want you to see now. He left the disciples here. The general disciples. Chose Peter, James, and John. For the first people at the general, he told them, Lord, tarry here whilst I go and pray yonder. I'm going to pray. He didn't tell us what we're going to pray about. 
Then he takes Peter James and John with him. Then he makes them know his soul is exceedingly heavy. Even unto death. It is time to pray. So you pray. Then he goes further to a level. Now listen. We all learn to pray from the general level where the general disciples are. But we should move from there to Peter, James, and John level. Uh, but ultimately, for us as Christians, we need to move to the level where Jesus alone was praying. Hallelujah. Am I making sense here? Amen. Now, sir, I did it for you, dear. Yeah, yeah, baby, I'm not sure for you. I want to, yeah, yeah, I did it. I was saying, you're free, huh? But, you're free, yeah, I did it. Yeah, sure for me, and saying, I call you. Now, you're too, so, I could do, baby, yes, you're free, so, I'm quite, I could do, I bought by it. And he went a little further and fell on his face and prayed, saying, Oh, my father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but thy will, but as thou will. So this was what Jesus was praying about. That is to tell you, like, listen, in this flesh, Carrying out the will of God to the letter is not easy on the flesh. Why? Because the flesh has a certain weakness. So you will need to depend on God. God to be able to carry out every heavenly assignment he gives to you, to the detail of it. Now if you don't discover this secret, what we call ministry, you will just be playing to the gallery, just making people happy. You will not be doing what God asks you to do. Is that okay? Good. So this was the content of the prayer. That I have a desire that mm, this is too difficult to. If it's possible, let this car pass from me. But if it is not, and I know it's, it's not, <laughs> nevertheless, not as I will, but your will be done. What you want to do through me, may it be done in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he comes unto the disciples and finds them asleep. Sleeping when they should be praying. And it's a normal thing that happens in this life. The sleep is sweetest doing prayer. Especially during the time of prayer. People People who stay alive and watch movie for four hours. Uh, when it comes to prayer, ah, after five minutes, phew, they are gone. The Bible to me assembly, no free makuma ku and nine atra television who ashe TV ye na wudi a yen shampa basi simanum no pebe biafa. 
he comes and finds him asleep and said, oh, Peter, what, could not you watch with me one hour? And it was an etiba be huo. Say, oh, my dad. And I can say, oh, Peter. And you want me to be a way. No, you're back home. Somebody says, oh, prayer is prayer. I mean, two minutes of prayer, you can pray. No, 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 no. Jesus is saying what? One hour. And then you'll be better to me. I can't get it in the whistle. Empire, be a empire. Now, be better to obey you. And to be both two minutes, no better to obey you. There be yes, Christ said, no, you're back home. Well, he, he just didn't say one hour for sake, one hour sake. I was trying to say that, look, <laughs> the kind of situations we face in life, if you go before God, you need to be able to spend quality time with him. And a quantity time as well, one hour. Even one hour, one hour is a minimum. Did you hear that? Amen. Now, we are saying, 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 and hear what he has to say. Watch, and I say to all of you, watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. Into what? There's so many temptations awaiting you this year. Amen. That you enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Now so Hunam Ayebre. Oh, the spirit is willing. Oh, it's all night. Oh, the spirit is willing. Ah, me ah, I want to pray. But the flesh is and there though. The flesh wants to sleep. The flesh wants to yawn. The flesh wants to drag the spirit. Are you listening to me? This is what happens during prayer. That is why people sleep in prayer. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. The spirit indeed is willing. Now But the flesh is weak. The flesh is what? Weak. Weak. He went away again the second time and prayed, saying, Oh, my father, if this cup may not pass away from me, except I drink it, thy will be done. Now, and he's praying to... this for maybe another one hour and beyond. Now, and he came and found them asleep again, for their eyes were heavy. If you sleep when you should be praying, don't be surprised when you about you are overwhelmed by life situations and you don't seem to have immediate answers. Don't be, over, don't, don't be surprised. I don't do a software for 20 cents. So, what mom pay a bread? I said, Bomb pay. That's a wood that. Now, we two and me. Now, we ask you how I'm a bread. Say, I'm going to have our swap. And money, no one. Did you hear me? Are you sure you heard me? Would you decide with me? Okay, I know to you.
Within a whole year, there are many contrary winds, troublous tempests, and so many contrary situations that come against us. For those who have prepared themselves and have stayed in tune, they know how to navigate the situation, take advantage of the storm in order to cope, you know, to coast on eh? and weather the storm and use that storm to even advance themselves to the next level. How do you perceive it? But from my own thing, a book. Ah, a person, a do be fias. I am just as a one up, a sis, you won't want. I won't buy book on Suno. And they are thrown a couple of Nassino. Sati Piano Pa, a basset, a babble, Bromasino. Almost me a fum, a just at the piano so at the call when him a Yes, verse forty five. Then came he to his disciples and said unto them, Sleep on now and take your rest. Behold, the hour is at hand, and the Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Now, son Epa Womunchain, now Obekacho Musa, I fear dear Mutumi Eda, a Mirino Asso, Sir Ampara, a big jai, me, a young Onipapano, a ma upon it for me. When you read this, you can tell that many times there are a lot of prayers Christians pray when it is too late and it is not necessary any longer to pray. Do you understand what I'm talking mm. about? Yes, I can say, 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 so Jesus is telling them, the time to pray is over, so continue to sleep. The time to pray to change situations or to be strengthened, to be able to overcome situations, it is over. So continue to sleep, just as you were sleeping before. That's what he was telling them. Some prayers are prayed too late. They are prayed too late. And it is dangerous as a Christian to live your life that way. Second Corinthians chapter 12. There's something I want us to see there. And yes, I want you to take a cue from it. I've mentioned it, but I want you to get it. It is not it is not expedient for me, doubtless to glory. I will come to visions and revelations of the Lord. I knew a man in Christ about, four, four, about 14 years ago. Whether in the body I cannot tell, whether out of the body I cannot tell. God knows such an one was caught up to the third heaven. Paul was talking about himself, but in humility, he said he had no a certain man. He's talking about himself. And I knew such a man, whether in the body or out of the body, I cannot tell. God knows. 
Osi da mi nimsa onipa no na mom se e wo onipa duamu o ana se nya onipa duamu no ano de mi ntimi nka na mom onyame e na onim how that he was caught up into paradise and heard unspeakable words which it is not lawful for a man to utter or to speak ah ye de no ye hwim no e ko paradise na oti and sembia of such an one I will glory yet not of myself I will not uh, yet of myself I will not glory but in my infirmities in what infirmity in my weaknesses now I will glory in my weakness. And not glory in my depths of revelation and insights. This is one secret that has eluded so many men of God, so many people who walk on this earth. What Paul is teaching here. They don't know. God graces them small. They are proud. Them pride goes before a fall. Team, they fall down. And it happens too often, as if man never seems to learn. He said, For though I would desire to glory, I shall not be a fool, for I will say the truth. But now I forbear, lest any man should think of me above that which he sees me to be. Or that he heareth of me. Now, I see I'm par. I want to say, but me want to say, but I want to move on. I'm not so married yet. So I'm going to say, and then I'm going to say, me yeah, yeah, Ojimi for. Now the crowd has said, me person, me person, me yami who said the bro ni a obi a ju a family who ana ohu a family. Unless I should be exalted above measure through the abundance of the revelation, there was given to me a thorn in the flesh, the messenger of Satan to buffet me, lest I should be exalted above measure. You see, God has a way of reminding all of us of our weakness in the flesh. I hear the emperors of old, eh, when they sit in their majesty in glory and people are praising them, and there was one man whose voice was heard above them all. And what he says is, Remember, you are but a man. O oh, king, remember, you are but a man. And that voice, the king needs to hear. So he doesn't glory about measure. And think that he is superhuman. Remember, you are but a man. And I want all of you who sit here to remember. Remember, you are but a mortal man. Hallelujah. Praise God. Remember, you are but a man. Verse 8. For this thing I besought the Lord thrice that it might depart from me. That weakness in the flesh, that thorn in the flesh to remind him of his human weakness. He prayed that it would be taken away from him three times. 
ti po se e wo sabra ya na e woni ni padua mu no wo hwe o nyankopon enim em premier sa e won pai boko aso se enka yen yin fi ho e ma no some people believe it was sickness e bi ni mu jiri se sabra ya no na ye yare e but i don't believe so I believe it was the persecutions against him. God allowed them to beat him well, well, put him in jail. In those things, so everywhere Paul goes to preach and persecution for, they will beat him, lashes, this, put him in jail, this. You see, it was too much. But you see, all this was supposed to let a man come to the place of recognizing the fact that. He is but a man. It is just God he can depend on for strength. <laughs> And he said unto me, when he besought the Lord three times to take away that thorn in the flesh, uh, and he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmity, that the power of Christ may rest on me. Hallelujah. And don't you, if you want to be a man, I will run me and say, no, you are going to be a man, you are going to be a man, and I will say, 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 how I pray that every one of you will be weak enough and be reminders of your weakness enough in order to lean on God's strength by continually calling upon his name in your moment of weakness. Exchange your weaknesses for his strength. The weaker you are, uh, the more you will lean on that ultimate strength to draw on that strength to carry out your life in this life. Hallelujah. And to your son, say, on the day of the Bible, he said, and we are saying, 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 did you hear what I said? This, uh, they see, there are certain secrets in the word of God. When you read some things, eh, God can give you different interpretation that will help you in your situation. You see people glory themselves in revelations that they have and say and, say and, say and, say and, say. Then people then he wants them to people to clap for him because we're sharp. When I see such operations, I know there is something wrong. And that this man is setting up himself for a great fall. Are you listening to me? Let's be weak enough to depend on God's strength all the days of our lives without drawing attention to ourselves. When men, you draw attention to yourself, men will make you know that you have arrived. As they keep telling you this, it will enter your subconscious that you have arrived. You won't be praying like you used to pray before. When you should be praying, you'll be sleeping. Because when you open your eyes, the revelations you get, somebody can pray for two weeks, he can't get that. So you, five minutes of prayer, it's okay for you. Don't enter into that kind of deception and that lie ever in your life. 
Jesus of our future did not know me as some so Emma me knew me and only said, My and Nada, you who and I am many pop crying Emma Moon can send beer. You tell me, Bayer, you dead. Every say I told you, I am not a dick at Crabia. Now, yes, I do a year, you know, dick at Crabia. Now, yes, I do a year, and Unti and Pabo Crabs, I say, Abono, your mobium, if you say, you say, be a noir, you bet me I can send me, and now you be a near, you who near me be. Also, for say, there be. San Yamano, ye near me be a say ye maho quaya, and ye na a de or say ye, ye near down four and a air day, ever a walk and be so. You get what I mean? Ye may come what ye are said. Why did the angel touch the hollow of Jacob's thigh? Uh, and he limped for the rest of his life. It's a sign. Anyone who limbs becomes a leaner. You know what I'm talking about? Whilst others are walking, they don't need him. I need him. And this is God. And I need him. So as I hobble along in life, I know without him. So I never leave him because when he leaves me, I can't even take the next step. Are you listening to what I'm talking about? So this becomes your lifestyle. When your weaknesses have been revealed unto you, you don't take anything for granted. You ask God for everything. You, you, you want to confer with him. He is your life. He is the reason why you live. He is the air you breathe. He is everything to you. Once others think they can sustain themselves without him, are you crying? Go away. Now I've arrived. Never, 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 never. Hallelujah. Now, as of us, I don't think that Jacob, bra on a year or both for no, Eddie, I prepare no, now, or boon, I don't go, now, I fail, or yet, a patchy, ah, now, or to good. Near some of the best of Chenny, sir, or be Biara, or to good in Nansuno, or yet, or set, or didn't wear them, etching, or be our one more day. That's how I'll be no any on your coupon, and with the bra, or yes, I know. I have told you this year before, I stayed in the home of a friend, very beautiful palatial home. He was, laying, he was living in. I, I know him from my school days, from a very poor background. The highest his father could own was a bicycle. And here God has raised this man. He was doing so well. And Sunday, I had to go preach somewhere. He initially told me he would go drop me off and listen to my sermon. He changed his mind later. When I came back, he was home. He said, I am working on my money. I said, but my brother, can't you get an accountant to do this for you? He said, the money is too much. The accountants can't even handle it. So I have to handle it myself. So Sunday, you work throughout the week, Sunday too, a gynecologist, women are bringing all their problems and paying all kinds of monies to him because he was so good at what he did by God's grace. Are you listening to me? It's painful. In his weakness, we were in the SU together. In his weakness, he was at CCC in Kumasi when he was practicing as a young doctor. Now listen to me. It is so easy to be proud on a little when God has just decided to give you some few coins for you to feel. I have arrived. What makes us feel that way? It's a poverty mentality. Deep poverty mentality. Mm -hmm. Poverty has pursued you all your life. And even when you have grown and something small has come, it's still pursuing you to think that you have arrived with those few coins. Did you hear what I said? Amen. 
or to the paper, be a lot of tea when Jessica was sitting for fair fair. Ah, yeah, now that could be a corner channel. Now I was saying, Oh, can you come on some more, baby? Now, or you're not just saying, Come back, I could see you know what's in the chair, but I feel actually crown or the side of the other. I could see you know what could say, Assembly. Now, so or the side, I just say, I feel on copy. Now, besides that, there also a woman saying, They are questioned that they now so be yet a two maybe will be sick at home. No, say, ah, now one pair, a year, and could have been booth nibina on your mama, or see there be scan of so on, could say, I was set me on Cassa and I'm here then. If you saw the power, I can't watch it, or you'll be a or any shas here, none of that, and none of for any be. You're none of that for one, you know, a bicycle. Now, so and there, when there, we are school, I'll be here to my, I'm a young couple, I shall say, a shano. Now, Bibi Cacrabi or who you know, now I had to say, we do every. Then Pepino, as I oh yeah, Adrian, I say Mantino. Say your baby room pep and soup you are bomb, no coupon sassia, ah, and can obey any macassia, no more sassia cacrabia, na a fey and so ye do the bibiara, the bibiara, ye yano, and I inside it. I can be sad you know, and you hear Adri, and she said, My idea so. My friend has died and left all his money. Left all his money. Purpose for living. Cynthia, should cause you to always press in into God. We can't have enough of God at any stage in our lives. You to me, can say, oh, yeah, bravo, yeah, yeah, boy, baby, be a lot, yeah, do it, yeah, 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 come on, and pen the baby in time, you bet me, I could, Debbie, and she said, I promise, sir. We never ever get satisfied. The more we have on him, the more we realize we need to have more in him. Bra, yeah, to a cosu, a woman, 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 a a woman, a woman, a woman, a and you are alive. Hunger. The moment you lose it, uh, and you have no appetite for any food, and you can't eat, you start dying. So when you lose your spiritual fervor and hunger for God, know that that is when your sure. downfall sure. begins. Sure. Where you don't now need prayer anymore, you can't pray anymore, you don't see the need for prayer anymore, and it's all about you, you, you know that something has begun and you're about tumbling from where you have got into to the ground floor. And the way I have a foot to be a man and I'm on a man as I'm so now I am a crack said the genie says a walk was wrong with you oh daddy that can tell you are all you are over who said on to me did not on to me and lose one and the next that's a and to be a lot of the free at us for us as a so Sasuna at Tia Awamu, said a cobassa, who come a door in a coupon, no air call for moi, let a chess, who womu, who humono, and I had a assassin. Baby, be a lot, what do you know? Our Brabumuno, can who say, Oh, Baby, yes. Is that okay? Wait, what I say? Are you sure you're okay? We did this at me, I can't, what I say. If anything at all, you should be hungrier today than you were yesterday. So for saying, can you hear your crown? And yet, when you come home, come. Ah, I do know, and then no, it was set a chin and ready. Must be hungrier than yesterday. Did you hear what I said? Yeah, me can watch it. It's so very important. Hmm.
This is just to prepare you for the all night. And to Hallelujah. prepare you for the rest of the year. Amen. Also for say, and some on your chair, you may know. Yes, yes, I am. Yet, no, we can create the new moon, but boy, the better person. No, that's our boy. I'm a yet to me a coffee moon. We are in some part, born somewhere at the age of Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. How I pray for you. So for say, thank God, about pompire amount. That your hunger for God will increase day by day. Your love for God and the things of God will keep on increasing by the day. That you want to draw close to God, to know the heart of God, and to live out what is in the heart of God for you. That the eternity will be birthed in your heart. And you will press in all your days for all that there is in God. That you might know him. And know him. And know everything that there is in God. That God becomes your, your passion in this life. And your reason for living. So God becomes your companion in this life. And becomes real to you in this life. All your days. That your world will be meaningless without more and more and more of him. That everything in this world becomes boring. And everything about God becomes so passionate and so interesting. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. That we will press in into you. All our days. In our weakness. We will press in for your strength. We will live by your strength all our days. You will be our stay, our strength, our all. In this life, the Lord places His hand upon every one of you. Open your heart more and more and draw you closer to Him. That God will be so near to you. God will be so real to you. God will be so revealed to you in a lifetime. And God will become the reason why you live. All your days. Father, we give you praise. Mm. Mm. We thank you. Mm. And we magnify thank you. you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.